Hello everyone. So I know it's been just over a week, but in today's video I'm going to be doing the winner for the contest video. Now if you didn't see this video, basically I posted it probably almost two weeks ago now saying to comment your idea for a 3D printed object and I got 206 comments, which is pretty exciting. Some of those are mine replying in conversations, but we got a lot of comments. And uh, quickly, I'm going to go over some of my favorites, and then we're going to announce the winner. Alright, so I'd like to thank everyone who entered the contest. And basically, we had a lot of cool entries. Um, the ones that I remember the most and really like, we had one person saying to 3D print, probably with my um, rubbery type material, a Nerf bullet, which I thought would be really, really cool. We had four people mention to make a key or a key and a lock. Um, so I'm definitely going to be doing that idea in a future video, but it wasn't my top idea. We also had two people mention to make a wind turbine or windmill for power electrician, obviously a mini one because my printer is pretty small. But the winner of the video is the person who recommended to build a red dot site. So here's the comment here. It was written by Zonies Coasters. Probably going to say that wrong. Zonies Coasters. Anyway, uh, his or her idea was a 3D print, a housing for a red dot site. And their specific idea was to use a piece of plastic in a CD case so it could reflect kind of like a real red dot site. And as you can see, it has five likes, meaning a lot of people like this idea. So in today's video, that is the idea we are going to be making. Congratulations to Zunis or Zonies Coasters. Uh, I will also be sending this prize to you. So please be sure to get in contact with me with your information. So basically for the design, uh, this is a real red dot site, obviously. When you turn the switch on, there's the little laser. The laser doesn't go through the red dot site, as you can see but it reflects it as that is just a, a very dim light there I am dim light reflecting it if you want to look up how these work feel free to give it a google basically the main characteristics I took from this design was the uh, kinda outline the mounting this here is for a rail on like a BB gun or something basically all you do is take these metal rails with screws put them in there and then as you can see they have a clamp which clamps it onto the top of your gun uh, I also took the view window and I made my own design and here it is right here let me pan over the camera to show you so there's my design I designed it using SolidWorks let me show you guys a little closer here so as I said the dimensions are almost exactly the same and I changed a few things to make it work as we are not going to be using the fancy little light or a perfect reflective system Instead, I have a bit of a different idea. Alright guys, sorry about the screen flickering by the way. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to videotape a screen. It's very hard unless you turn the brightness up really high. But then of course, you guys can't see what I'm doing in the foreground because of all the shadows. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this down real dark so you can focus on my hands here. So basically for the laser, I have this laser pointer from a dollar store and on the tip of the laser pointer I used some window tint for your car or headlight or taillight whatever and I put a couple layers of that so instead of being a laser pointer when you push the button where is it there it is it's kinda of just like a a red light and for the lens I have a clear tic tac box I'm gonna be utilizing for the plastic with another sheet of that tint over top so as you can see when you put the red dot sight on it, it makes a very similar allusion to a real red dot sight, but very, very simple. So basically, this uh, laser I'll start off by showing you guys. I'm going to now turn up the brightness of my screen so you can see. The laser, um, I'll show you guys a side profile here. The laser is going to be mounting on this angle like this, and I designed it so that the center of the laser will go directly in the center of where the lens is going to be um, inserted which I will show you next the lens is going to be inserted right in the top of this slot that you can see right here basically I cut out a window 
uh, as you see on the real laser pointer. And then I'm going to be inserting the lens from the top, kind of a slot right about there. And I made the width of the slot about the same as the Tic Tac. So I'm going to cut this out with some scissors and place it in just like that. Alright, let's get printing. So here what I've done is imported the .stl file of my design into the M3D printing program. And I hit print. As you can see at the top, maybe you can't, it says printing 1% done. And it's been about 10 minutes, so this is going to take a while. But here's a little preview for you guys, even though it's kind of hard to see. It's just printing the home bed right now. There it is right there. I'll give you guys a few screenshots before it's done printing and then we'll go finish building it. So here's the print going. It's about five hours later and according to the M3D program we're about 85% done. So another 15% or probably another hour, hour and a half. Um, just off the top of my head, this thing should be pretty much completed. Which is pretty exciting. Um, and then what we're going to do is weed all of the support material out and finish it up. So there it is, the final 3D print. I took it off my 3D printer, but before we start assembling the laser and the light, we have to go ahead and remove all of the extra support material. So there it is, the final shell. Got the window cut out, the bottom pegs on the bottom with mounting holes. You can see the angle for the laser and the slot in the top for the uh, little piece of plastic. So let's go ahead and assemble the rest of it. All right, so while my glue gun warms up for the laser, we're gonna go ahead and cut out this little piece of the Tic Tac box with the tint on it. So as I mentioned before, there's the window that it's going to be fitting in. So here I have my caliper all dialed in. So basically, if you haven't used one of these, they're just a very precise measuring tool. So I'm going to use the back of them to measure the window I want to stick up to the very top. So something like that there, which is that measurement doesn't really matter though. It's 0.715 inches, so as you can see, pretty precise and that's even with a bit of approximation and then I'm just going to take that and drag it along my tic tac box it's not going to be perfect so it doesn't really matter but I'm just going to drag it along now as you can see there's that little scratch mark now I'm going to go ahead and measure it the other way using the inner diameter little uh, teeth so let's just get an approximation here almost exactly one inches 0.995 or so but anyway that I'll lock it up as well thought you guys might enjoy to see the process of this since I haven't showed much process at all in this video and I'm just gonna go ahead and as best I can it's very hard to do to just scratch a random piece so it's a little sloppy but you get the idea there's the scratches as you can see the reflection I'm going to go ahead and cut that out with my X-Acto knife. So here's the little square. I understand it's not 100% perfect, but it'll do for this little project. So now I'm going to just take it and slide it inside of that slot I designed on my SolidWorks program. And there you go. The lens is in the 3D printer. There's a little bit of a gap on each side, but uh, really it's not going to affect it because it can't fall out. Um, you could probably just put a little piece of tape over top if you really cared, but I'm not going to. Let's go ahead and attach the laser. And the last step of our project, I'm just going to go ahead and attach the red dot sight just as in the design on this little ledge here. So to do that, I'm just going to simply decide where I want it. I think I would like something just right along there, centered, um, so you can still see over the red dot sight when aiming. Um, but not too far back because it looks kind of stupid. So I'm just going to put some hot glue on the silver portion. Of course, leaving the button exposed. 
just like that. Let's go ahead and put it on the red dot site. And let's let it dry. So there you have it everyone, the final red dot site design. Um, it's not 100% perfect. I'll show you quickly how it works then I'll show you what I would design differently. So when you push the button, oh great time for the batteries to stop working. There we go, when you push the button you can see the dot on the screen yet you cannot see it on the carpet which means the screen absorbs the remainder of the light. A little bit reflects back but nothing terrible as you can see. Uh, basically so there it is aiming at my carpet. I'll, uh, I'll show you guys aiming at something in the distance so you can get a good idea. For example my gym bag over there. The camera doesn't really let in enough light but you can see through that tint there you can see that my gym bag now through the tint you can see that blue bag my shoes there you go there's the red dot sight pointing at my shoes so yeah I would say that's a pretty darn successful 3d printed uh, red dot sight it was of course my very first design for this exact project there's the mounting rails now if I were to do this again in the future I would either use a smaller um, red dot sorry laser pointer or have this uh, lens portion mounted up higher and put this on a bigger angle because when you're looking at it your line of sight barely clears the top of the laser now the reason I chose this laser pointer of course is because it's the most common one you can find for like a dollar fifty at like a dollar store so yeah definitely not perfect but I would say it's pretty darn good uh, there's from the front view as you can see it's not super bright does let a little bit of light through but nothing serious again I'd say it works pretty good so thank you for watching everyone um, if you like this type of video and want your project to be made into an actual invention uh, please subscribe and hit the notification button so you're always notified if I make another sweet contest. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this contest. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more sweet videos. Thanks for watching.